idea here that I just want to share with customers sure. um, is just this idea of creating gift subscriptions. And I mean, can you just kind of tell me the story here? Uh, yeah, yeah, you guys yeah. have had gift subscriptions, but of course. So yeah, we again we we instituted them around the holidays to kind of coincide with uh, hey, if you want to give a gift this this Christmas or Hanukkah give a gift subscription. And, and we had, you know, limited response to that. Um, but in this okay. format, you know, we have a lot of readers who are reaching out now. They, they realize what the industry is dealing with uh, and saying, how can we help? What can, what can we do? Um, and right. this particular reader has a social media following. She's got a platform. She's a local blogger. And what right. she did was, you know, she first reached out to me and said, how can we help? And, and we said, you know, digital subscriptions continue to be a great way for our readers um, especially in, in our case, we're a free newspaper, um, a great right. way that readers can, can, can get some skin in the game. Uh, and we've been promoting them for a while now. But what she did was she put out a call to her followers to raise donations that then she could use to buy people subscriptions to the Acorn. Uh, people that awesome. didn't have one already or that had them and, and wanted to get an extra year. Um, right. And so it was just was a real easy way. The gift subscription was a real easy way that she could – just worry about collecting the money. And then after the fact, she, I think she did some kind of contest to determine who would get the gift subscriptions. Um, uh -huh. And though then she was able to just go in and one by one, all the people that won one of these subscriptions that she had raised money for, she was able to grant them um, a, a free year to the paper. So um, I right. think, I think that's terrific. It's just, it's just another tool we can give to our, to our readers that are saying, Hey, I'm already a digital subscriber. Maybe I've even already donated. Maybe I've supported your advertisers. Here's another sure. way. Hey, what if I'm going to get a gift subscription for someone who hadn't thought about something like that? Um, right. And another way to just give back and help support the paper right now. And again, it was right. real easy to have it rather than having to say, hey, collect everyone's information, then go in on your own and, and enter and, and basically sign them up manually. With a gift right. subscription often it, option, it made it real easy for her to quickly – get the donation and give out the gift subscriptions um, to people that want right. it. Okay. Got it. So I've got the gift subscription page on my screen here. And so just uh, recording this. So she just put fills in their name. She can put a message in here and then it just automatically sends them an email to activate it. Right. Yeah, All she needs is their name and their email and then they have to right. fill out the rest. So as long as that's pretty easy to right. get from somebody, um, and when she had that, then they got a, a note right in their inbox. She got confirmation that it had gone right. through. They got an email on their end with a code. Um, some use it quicker than others, um, but uh, it was it made it fairly easy for her to, again, distribute the gift subscriptions. Especially, you know, I think we envi we envisioned it. You as well envisioned it as a way, you know, one family member here, one family member there. But it also worked in this case where we had a bulk. Uh, a bulk buy, I guess you would say, of these right. gift subscriptions. Right, right. Very cool. Yeah, and, and all these uh, s stories that I'm hearing about from publishers of donations coming in, and then you know, some sometimes there's donations to local restaurants to help feed people on the front line, or I've seen yep. donations, uh, you know, for nonprofits to keep their advertising going on the site. It's just such a beautiful thing. It's like really the community coming together and supporting each other and the money is flowing in all different directions and it's helping everyone involved. So, uh, and one thing that I have heard as a follow-up to that is a lot of them will kind of write stories about what happened. I don't know. Is that something that you've thought about in this case at yeah, all? Yeah, I mean, I think we are, I think, you know, we're a little bit, even though we're struggling right along with so many, I mean, we're a little resident, reticent to do, for example, a story just on this effort. But what we are doing is okay. we're putting together a full page ad to run in the paper next week. That's basically right. going to thank all of our subscribers um, right. and our do and our donations. What was really neat about the donate op donation option that you set up for us was it gives a it gave a place for people to put a comment in and some of those comments have just been so heartening for for our staff and and so what we're going to do is compile the page as a thank you and then also include some of those messages that just reinforces what um, our product means to people you know it's not right. you know no, nothing against a restaurant or a or a clothing store or any of those businesses but uh, the value of a, a community newspaper 
Um, so that's kind of how we're recognizing some of these efforts. But, you know, certainly in a, as a paper, we're writing about a lot of these other donation efforts for other causes as well. Right, right. Yeah, no, that's that's exactly, uh, yeah, that accomplishes the same thing. I love the idea of running ads. So let's talk about this donation page then for a second. So yeah. we set it up on the acornonline.com. So that's your yep. group website. Yep. And so um, the all the pages are pointing to this and uh, this message. Which is for great for us, which is great for us because we've always been so, yeah. you know, yeah. divided up. And it's nice to have, yes, right. this is all going to one place. Yeah. Right, right, exactly. And you can choose your favorite acorn to kind of uh, give it that uh, little bit of feedback there. That's neat. Yeah. And then the message. So, okay, this is great. I will definitely watch uh, for the print uh, edition next week to see that ad. And we'll. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to brag story. or boast. I mean, we haven't really even are, you know, we have one of these publishers who's been super reticent about donations you know even though we're free paper but we finally convinced right. them hey the readers they want to play a part they know our businesses right. and advertisers are struggling the readers they want to help you know we want to give right. them a way to do so and yeah i mean i can't other any all i can say it's been a smashing success i mean i want to say we're we're well up over five thousand dollars in donations probably wow. closer to ten thousand at this point um and really? that's just yeah we had one person give a thousand. Oh my god one donor yeah i mean that so i mean we never had this option before um yeah. and it's yeah i mean it's it's been it's been huge is it going to save us in and of itself probably not but it's been just again at a time when we're looking for every stream we can get here's a right. chance to go to those readers who we traditionally all we ask of them is you know we we do have a paywall now but you know for years we didn't even have that so it's just right. a chance to say hey we haven't asked much of you we're in really yeah. unprecedented times beyond the power of our control. Will you give? And what we've seen is the answer is absolutely, you know, and, and, uh, and it's, it's just, it's just great. I mean, it means a lot, especially on the editorial side to just see our, our, our efforts recognized in that way. But it's, it's just been huge for us, Matt. <laughs> That's wonderful to hear, Kyle. Yeah. yeah and yeah. you know, the bottom line, I think all publishers are waking up to the fact that if you don't ask, you're not going to get it. It's just yeah. not going to really happen. People don't think to give unless there's like some type of a call to action. Exactly. So that's all that exactly. this is. And we're putting it out there. Now, and we've I got nobody, one, we've got no one, you know, today, and I see most messages, and I haven't heard one person say, yeah. You know, what is the acorn doing asking for donations? You know, I mean, again, I think people right. get it with our industry. You know, um, right. we're not again, we're not we're not screaming at everybody about it. I think some other sites and I think we'd do even better if we we were promoting it even more. I mean, I think we got such a big right. response in the beginning. Um, but, yeah, I think you, you hit the nail on the head. Is there a lot of people that always thought, geez, I, I'm so happy I can pick up my paper every day and for free. And I wish I could help these guys some way. And in the past, all we could right. tell them was. Uh, you know, go to our advertisers. Here's now a call to action, and right. and we're seeing it pay off big dividends quickly. Right, right. Now I want to just uh, go into one thing that you just said. There is like maybe promoting things a little bit more. I mm -hmm. I just have one little bit of feedback for for you as a kind of a user. I came yeah. in here when we when we were going to talk. I was looking for the gift subscriptions, and I I couldn't find it to be honest. And now I yeah, see yeah. it is. It's on the subscribe page. So just an idea for you guys. What if we yeah. had a button, you know, a button at the top? We could do, you know, a third button maybe, subscribe, yeah. donate, and then gift subscription or something. Just yeah. to get it out a little bit more. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad okay. idea at all. Do you want us to go ahead and set that up or do you want to think about yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Like Where well, uh, well, let me well, let me run through Jim. See how it would look. You think it would just go at the top of the page yeah. next to subscribe, right. donate, and then a gift subscription? Because you know, for a while there, when yeah. we were really promoting it, when we first launched it, we had the button on the right side of the page. Um, that's the first. Yeah, that's actually what I was picturing at first. But then uh, I think at a minimum we should put the three options at the top because no one's going to miss that. You know, right at the yeah. top of the page. And then, yep. you know, we can try uh, have a, a larger button on the right column and uh, try the donate button on the right column or maybe swap it out with the, the gift subscription. You know, just keep things changing with different colors and things like mm -hmm. that. So it gets attention, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's that's all that I would have to say. That's the one bit of feedback I have. 
Um, this is this is really amazing, Kyle. Uh, I'm happy to hear that. So yep. uh, up to up to ten thousand dollars in donations. Uh, probably yeah. dozens of such yeah. of donors, right? I mean, all different levels of donors, of course. Um, so. Yeah. That's yeah, no, I mean, all. again, I want to be clear. Yeah, the, we didn't, these are options we didn't have, you know, five, right. even even three years ago. So this is, uh, right. Right. it was great. We could lean on them in these times and uh, and go to them for our papers. Right. You know, like I said, the first the right. digital subscriptions first, then the donations and the gift subscriptions. Right. Again, it's all just working as um, all these different ways readers can give back. And uh, it's been a huge right. help. Right. Okay, well, and, I got you, well, I got you. Both. Hey, my, uh, Matt, Jim just walked in the office. He's here. Hey, Matt. Jim, what's up? Hey, man? well, I got you both here, and maybe you guys touched on this. What I'm thinking, we got the yellow bar, register for free. We know everybody's registering for free. When they click that, I think we need, yeah, go ahead and click it, Kyle. I think we need to add something that says, you know, yes, you can register for free, but if you want to support local journalism, right, we could do that. You see where it's, you see where yeah. it says, Matt, where it says register for this free membership because we didn't t we didn't talk about yeah. that, Matt. A ton of people are also taking out the free, you know, free accounts right yeah. now. Um, right. So maybe where it says register for this free membership to obtain free access of all our news and coverage, maybe we could say if you want to support local journalism, here's how to pay for a subscription. Yeah, right or there, donate. or donate. Absolutely. Really good point, Jim. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, every opportunity we want to remind them. So, yeah, even if they, they found themselves coming in here, they may not even realize that there's that option. So, yeah, um, yeah we, we can add, you want to add a, just a button to subscribe? Or, yeah, uh, why, don't, why don't we just add a sentence at the end of this one and yeah. then uh, with a hyperlink that takes them to the right. either we'll say to go to donate or subscribe and then we'll hyperlink donate to the donate page or subscribe to the paid subscription page. Why don't we just do that? Right, 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 got it. Okay, if you wanna support local journalism, you can donate or subscribe here and then each of them will be highlighted. Yes. Beautiful, I love right. it. Okay, we'll get that done today. That sounds really good. Um, let's ex talk a little bit about this though, because uh, this was gonna be my next point. The idea of registering people for free, that's mm -hmm. uh, you know just a super generous offer um, have you thought at all about the strategy? Because, I mean, obviously you're collecting emails from this. And then uh, once this is over, there's going to be a point where you roll back the free access. Yep, right? Yep. Once things clear up and the bug goes away. Um, so then have you thought at all about like, because we could probably create a, a dedicated newsletter list of those people you know, put them on their own list and then we could market to them for the page. Exactly. No, uh, we're, yep, yeah, we're, that's what exactly what we're thinking about. It's going to be absolutely cool. critical. Some kind of yep. blast that we give to them. And I don't know if it's a one-time price even, right. but some way to capture. Cause yeah, I, in TO I'm up, I'm approaching yeah, 2,891 free members. So Jim and I keep thinking if we yep. can turn 20% of those, 10% of those into paid subscribers, right. that's a huge number. I mean, that's almost now half of what we have now if we do 10, 10 or if we do 20 percent. So, sure. yeah. So, yeah, right. that's going to be really important to us. So I think okay. that's our strategy right now is some kind of blast at the end. And then maybe yeah. since we still have their emails, a blast a couple months down the line, even. Right. We may even give them a shot over the bow when we're getting close. You know what? In three weeks, the, wa the wall's going back up. Yeah. You know, that kind of thing. And, and give them a chance the to pay. Yeah. yeah. Ah, yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, can, when we launched the paywall, we had a limited time uh, discount for the yeah. first people to jump on. You could do something sort of like that. Like like you just said, Jim, the paywall is going to come down. If you sign up before the paywall goes back up, then we can give you this discount. Um, I know, actually, you kind of regretted that in retrospect a little bit because you were like, oh, did we leave money under the table? But in this case, I don't think that's going to be the the situation because the paywall has been up, you know, yeah, so yeah. We, I think we got all the people that are definitely going to subscribe, um, already as members. So, okay. Very cool. I'm going to then follow up with you guys. Cause we're actually working on a tool that I think you would like. It's a kind of, it's a completely automated way for us to issue, um, 
discounts or uh, discount offers to non-subscribers on your newsletter list. Okay? okay, it's in the works. Okay, and I don't know. You may not want to try it right away, but it's just an idea because it's like they're on the newsletter list. They're obviously interested. They're on the fence. Yeah. Why haven't they bought yet? You know, yeah, why would they? But I, it's so strange that they would get the newsletter and they only can click on two of the stories or three of the stories. Yeah, I, that's so odd. And not only that, the newsletter right. has the digital e-reader and they can't even get to that. So, yeah, it's strange that there's right. still that group that has that are signed up for the newsletter but not subscribers. Yeah, that's strange. Right. We should be able right. to convert. The quest, right, exactly. There, there's, there's some subset of that population that is not subscribing. Uh, you know, there's got to be some portion of that that's just it's because of the price so yeah. if uh there, there's just you know a small discount to make them feel like they're getting a special deal because this is yeah. not something that would advertise across the site this is yeah. only going to be sent to those emails that are receiving the free newsletter and are not subscribers sure. yeah okay. well jim and i were, i'll be on we were pretty jazzed about the response we got from his idea to to we did okay not on every site but certainly on to with that list we put together of the inactive members Yes. Yeah, exactly. and what we did, 20 idea. bucks did we do? 20 or 25? I think we did 25 or 28. And I think we were pretty happy with the response we got. We saw a nice little okay. jump, um, uh, uh, certainly on the TO site, when we did that. So I think, yeah, I think, again, um, to Jim's credit, you know, I was a little worried about how the free wall with the registration would work. But now you're seeing it works fine. People don't have a problem you know, taking a couple seconds to put their email in and now we can really, really leverage that to produce future right. subscribers. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thanks, thanks guys. See you. you bet Jim. Hey, thanks for jumping in. Talk to you later, man. Hey Kyle, I got uh, one other thing for you sure. here. Um, just Terry was asking about this before we jumped on because you guys have uh, a huge open rate. Uh, I mean, it's, it's very good on your newsletter. So I was curious um, if you could maybe share any insight on how you're using the newsletter. Cause I, I know that you guys do quite a few uh, broadcasts of single stories like breaking news, right? Yeah. 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 So we're still, again, as a paper that's, we're now just starting to become this, you know, I mean, again, the, 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 for years it's been all the traffic was Thursday, Friday. Obviously, it's when you guys uploaded the sites. Right. And year right. after year, we start to break that cycle more and more with us uploading stories ourselves, breaking news. Now it's not. And right. now we've gone from not just breaking news, but even just um, stories we find out, like after the paper comes out, or stories right. that we can't fit into the papers. And now we have papers that are smaller. So... We're now it used to be that everything that went in the paper or everything that went online was also in the paper. But now we actually have not a large number, but a, a, a group, serious group of stories that are just online that never really get to our print audience. I know a lot of other papers okay. have been doing that for years, but we hadn't really done that. So, um, I mean, we're just active with that. I mean, we just feel like if we put up a story that's not in the regular news schedule, we try to use that right. newsletter button, you know. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, to me, we, we can, um, you know, talk about the, the percentages, but I think uh, you're at least double the open rate of an average paper that we work with that is just following the weekly publication schedule. So just by communicating more often and sending real-time updates, I think your, your whole audience as a whole is uh, just more engaged and they're more likely to open your newsletter because they're just hearing from you more often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And But you know what we haven't done yet? It's a good thing we could talk about is we're still not selling that, you know? We're still not, like, getting someone ah, to, like, Joe's, yeah. Joe's Tire Shop at the top of the newsletter or bottom somewhere. We haven't done that yet. So I don't know if that's us dropping the ball because I know you guys have the ability to do that, right? I mean, if we wanted to oh, sell. Yeah. yeah. So I, you oh, know, yeah. I, it's really reassuring to hear that. And I'm going to bring that to Jim and my advertising staff and say, Hey guys, we're hearing from Matt that these newsletters are getting a pretty good, big open rate. Now that's something you should be able to take to an advertiser and say, hey, when, as soon as a thousand people click and open this, they're going to see your ad right at the top. So that's something exactly. hopefully we can actually transition to. Right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, any one of these advertisers that you're running as a display ad, we can put in the yeah. newsletter. So, it, I mean, it doesn't have to be like, you create a, a special ad for the newsletter. We can repurpose these things. So yeah. um, how, however you want to do it, you know, 
and the other thing is we could put an ad for subscriptions, donations, and you know, gift subscriptions oh, in, yeah, in yeah. the meantime. Yeah, yeah. Just an idea. Um, yeah. All right. It. Now, all right, yeah. perfect. Hey when, hey, when things slow down, let's also talk. I know we had to reschedule that, but um, yeah. multi-site publishing, I mean, we're using it more than ever right now, you know, because... I was just going to ask you. Yeah. yeah because awesome. With our Ventura County papers, because of the way the virus has become really a... It's hard. We covered city by city, but now it's also such a countywide story, and we're doing more countywide stories than ever before. I mean, it's right. almost like without multi-site publishing, what would we be doing? We're now using it with so many stories where uh, one of those sites use it, and then boom, we put it up on the other other three or four. So, I mean, again, if you right. want things settle down, I would be happy to sing the praises of that because that's something we're using as as much as ever as well. So. Definitely. I will follow up with you on that. But even what you just said is is really great to hear. And also, yeah. are you using it still for the uh, image galleries? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know as much. We're actually down a couple of photographers now because of all this, but um, okay. they were for a little while. And I, I know it was much easier for the ones that were using it. So definitely. OK, got it. So, yeah, becoming more digital centric, these these tools become more important. So that's I know, you know, us. I mean, it's been a slow road to get here, but we really are uh, embracing that digital side and it's been just huge right now. So glad Amazing. we are. Yeah, man. Yeah. And with the podcast, I got to give you props on that. I love what you guys are doing there. Very cool. Thank Listen you. To it. OK, Wonderful. awesome. Yeah, we're a little slow to build the audience, but the ones that listen really love us, and we hear a lot from them, so I'm so proud we're doing it, and we're getting it out even in the crisis, so I appreciate you saying that. We enjoy doing it. Right. Good, good. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah, and it's just part of the overall strategy of like being multi-channel um, news organization. We're no longer print only, you know, podcast. Yep. It's reinforcing your brand, uh, you know, going back and forth. So you're promoting it on the website, but in the podcast, you're promoting the paper and the website. It's it's all synergistic. I really love it. Exactly. Right on, dude. Uh, well, thank you so much, Kyle. It's great talking to you as always. Uh, I appreciate you jumping on. Um, we've taken up enough of your time. We'll let you go, man. And we'll. Hey, and thanks to your team too, soon. man. Tell everyone I know I'm a I'm a pain in the butt sometimes, but. They're all really great, you know, and I appreciate their hard work. Um, you know, we're, we're partners in this, so, you know, thank right. your team as well. Hey, man, it's our pleasure. Anytime. Okay. Keep it coming, okay? We love all your right. ideas. So, all right, man. Hey, take care, everyone. <laughs> all right, you too. Take care, Kyle. Bye, bye. bye. bye.